Okay, hello and welcome to this episode of J-Man Can Allotment Diaries. It's a beautiful day, it's absolutely stunning, warm, fantastic, fantastic. The sun is out, I've got my sunglasses on because the sun's shining in my eye. You're going to see my eyes doing that. All I'm going to do today is, fingers crossed, put my onions in bed for. I've prepared bed for, I weeded it. I'm going to put my onions in bed for today. I will take a couple of videos of that. It's actually quite late in the evening, it's about 7.30 so the lighting may not be fantastic but that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to attempt to clean out a couple of things from the greenhouse. I've got my tomatoes at home ready to put on so I'm going to attempt to do that as well. The one thing I do want to add is people who have an allotment plot are incredibly friendly. I'm going to be honest, I was just about to do the film and I ended up speaking to um, a young lady. She was so, so friendly. I've also found a lot of other people on the other plot holders, the other plot holders are friendly, they offer good helpful advice, it's just such a nice environment. You know, I'm going to add that to one of the things of why to have an allotment. Exercise, friendly, fresh air, it clears your mind, it's peaceful, it's relaxing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to some work. Okay, so thanks for watching. What we're going to be doing today is transplanting my onions into the ground. Now I've started them off in a tray. I put the sets in straight away. Um, it was about the end of February, put them in now. We're March, April, middle of it. So it's been two and a half months and the leaves have developed like this. Now they started off uh, as some sets that I bought from the local shop. They started off in little sets like that, okay? And what I did is I put them in the tray, just a top sticking out, straight in the roots at the bottom, pointing at the top like that. Two months, they've slowly developed. I've got some foliage now. They're ready to put in. I could have put them straight into the ground. However, I decided to start in here first. Anyway, let's get them in. So I have a trusted ruler, little cane. I'm gonna make along here. I'm gonna put them in. Don't forget, when we're spacing them out, they don't need a great amount of space to put onions in, okay? They're only gonna be about the size of your fist and that's what we're going to do. So here's a top tip. Start off in the middle, plant, 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 then go to the other side and do it along. Otherwise, you'll be reaching over and things like that. I've seen people at the plot reaching over to go to that side. Why don't you just come across the pot here and do it from standing on there if you don't want to stand on it? That's how you can do that, okay? That's just a top tip. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm thinking, start off I've got my little uh, I won't even need that actually Let's make a little hole there put one in there maybe one in there follow the line one in there and um, one in there so it's one two three four one two two three four okay so then let's get this out This is the fun bit. Another top tip. Before you transplant the majority of plants, I believe I've read, I've watched and I've been informed, you want to give them a really, really good water. Reason is, when you move them, the roots are going to move around, okay? So if they've had some water, there might be a day or two where you put them in the ground and they're still developing, okay? Changing environment. The other thing is, by watering them, it's going to hold all the soil together. Otherwise, the soil is going to be crumbly and fall apart. You want to put as much of that soil straight in the ground. So that's my top tip. Okay. That's one. Okay, so I'm now coming to nearly the end of transplanting the onions. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is lift them up by the leaves, push down at the root and get all of it, put it in really nicely, give it a quick little press down, especially by the bottom of it, uh, not to leave any, uh, any air gaps, because that's the last thing you want. Um, last one for today. Okay, dig a nice hole in there. Let's see, go 
it off for this one. Uh, watch it me underneath. Loosen it up, grab it, put it right in there. Okay, get some of the loose soil around it. Uh, give it a good old press down. There we go. So hopefully in the video you'll be able to uh, see I've done this one row here, okay? Then I've done a row here, and then I've done a row here. These are the one that I've actually started at the um, at home already. Um, and then what I've actually done is there's a row in between. Oops, let me just pull a bit off. In between the rows that I've started here, here, and here. In between here, I've actually put some of the sets in. And all you need to do for the set is just um, grab the little set into the ground making sure that the pointy up but is upwards the root is at the bottom and it's literally just sticking out of the ground okay so not right under the ground literally just sticking out of the ground okay so that is my onions transplanted for today it's actually getting uh, quite late it's getting quite dark um that's all i'm going to do today i've got three more in here so i'm probably going to just throw in the uh, the other three no i'm going to leave them in here for today I'll sort them out another time, but uh, thank you very much for watching me transplant my uh, onions. I will keep you updated. Okay, thanks for watching J-Man Can Allotment Diaries. As usual, I've tried to keep it as fun as I can, but it can be quite hard trying to uh, smile and make a joke when you're just transplanting uh, onions, and it's a hard job to do it when it's nearly nine o'clock in the evening on a Monday night. But hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share, tell all your friends, I'll be here again as soon as I can with an update. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.